Yusha from Land of Yusha one and then um, back at it with another video and I'm sorry if you hear like the some noise in the background in fact I'm gonna shut it off for a bit. Uh, that was like the uh, the heater or whatever you call it, the that blows warm air because it's still winter here and uh, yeah so anyway what is this new video about it? It's been like three weeks it appeared but I've done a video with me talking or a lo uh, commentary or something and um yeah that was like a, a few weeks ago already omg and into uh a couple weeks into like three weeks into 2020 already it feels like and wow anyway this is like a another reference sheet of um another of a character as you can tell by the title of the video and at the text at the very top anyway that text um is like a custom text um the wrote the part that says rodney piper ratzenberg that's actually custom text but that i um that i um created myself i used a website called calligrapher i might link if i remember to i'll link it in the description it's like a or you can look up like any like a free font making website where you can make your own font. That's where I made mine, but specifically I made mine in Calligrapha. And that's how I was able to assemble my own custom text, like download a template and just, you know, make random shapes and random letters in decorative ways. And that's how I got it. I might link it below, who knows. Anyway, this is a character of, this is a video of that character that you see in here, the title and the text at the top of the image <laughs> at the rough sheet, anyway. And as you can tell, she's very um rat-themed, very rodent-themed and everything. Um, yeah. She's like, um, kind of with her hoodie, but that's a little hoodie that you'll see, um, Trying to, like, getting the kawaii vibes, kawaii, anyway, just little cute character vibes and everything, so yeah. Oh yeah, and speaking of character designs and each character's purpose and all that jazz, um, I'm actually, um, I'm gonna, like, I've mentioned this a, quite a lot on Instagram, which is always linked in videos, but, um, I always, I, like I've mentioned quite a few times actually on Instagram that I've alluded to the fact that um, the characters in the Dybbuk story are like meant to um, that uh, I don't want any or as many characters as possible, I don't want many of them to like, you know, be like, to have, to like be like, considered like, no more than pretty background decor, like, quote, pretty background decor, and quote, and my mom is coming back, and my mom is just can't, like, walked by anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna try to make the character not be, quote, pretty background decor, end quote, like, um, like, I want these characters to, like, not be there only for aesthetics, I want them to be so much more than just, you know, simply there to be pretty faces or cool looking pieces of decor, you know, I want them to actually have protagonistic roles, I want them to have, like, you know, you know, actual character, I want them to have personalities and everything, I want, you know, them to be featured a lot as their own main characters and their own story arcs, you know, so... I don't want them to just be seen as like, oh, they're only the bear for aesthetics or anything like that. So yeah, this character is gonna like have their own background story, hopefully, and um, if I get around to it, and um, um, there's something else that I keep forgetting what I want to talk about. Um, uh. What was I gonna say? I need hardcore reminders to remember what I was gonna say just now. Okay, I was gonna say something about they're not just pretty background decor. They're not just only there for aesthetic. Um, uh, they're not there. They're not only there for aesthetic. Oh yeah, and I said on Instagram that um, since they're not gonna be only there for aesthetic, I, that I joke uh, that I jokingly said um, that I'll try to give all the characters that you've seen previously on Instagram and on my channel. That I'll try to give them all backstories that are just as detailed and complicated as their outfits. Anyway, because their outfits do seem 
pretty ridiculously detailed to the point that it's gonna be straight hell just having to draw them consistently for comic panels. Well, at least that's the plan. I just need a drink right there. So yeah, um, yeah, they seem really difficult to like, and some of them even impossible to draw, like, 100% consistently over, like, many, like, you know, static images, you know. I couldn't imagine what it'd be like doing 2D animation with these characters. <laughs> I couldn't imagine what it'd be like, like, making an entire 2D animated series and having to nail down the outfit just for that. That'd be crazy. But anyway, um... Yeah, I worked on this ref sheet, and what else did I work on? I'm sorry for the background noise. What else have I been working on? Oh yeah, and I just finished the uh, fat art of the Disney movie Frozen 2. I finished it, um, today? Yesterday? No, definitely yesterday I finished the Frozen 2 artwork, um, which I plan to do commentary of to make a commentary of and to um, upload it here as well, you know. I usually can't make promises, but you know, it's not really an elaborate promise, you know, that would be hard to not do a character, you know. I really like coming up with these, coming up with these, like, um, character reference sheets. I think they're really fun to do. I think they're really funky wonky to do. Um, I have like a novel layer dedicated to like, I call it color test layer in which I like put down a bunch of colors and then play with the hue, saturation, or value sliders to like come up with the correct colors and play with the opacity on that color test layer to like come out with the perfect colors. Like, the background, the canvas background is light brown, and then I can't use, like, 100% stock white, or it's gonna look way too bright against that light brown, you know, and all that jazz. So, yeah. Anyway, you're coming to the end of this particular video very, very soon, and I plan to make a commentary of the Frozen 2 fan art I just did. I've really been underestimating the time that it looks like that these videos take, and, like, it looks like it's really, really close, like, a couple seconds to, of the commentary left to do, but it's, like, I don't know, a minute more, I, I don't know. Anyway, so I'm just gonna leave this video out here, and, uh, thank you very much for watching this particular video, and... Thank you. Bye.